In today's video, we're going to look at entering higher purchase payments in Xero. The example we're going to look at is a purchase of a vehicle for £10,000 where £4,000 was paid up front and the higher purchase loan was for the remaining £6,000. Okay, let's head into Xero and take a look. We're going to start off in Xero by looking at the original payment, the £4,000, and we're going to find that on our bank rec. So if we go to the bank reconciliation, here we have the £4,000 and we're going to be a bit sneaky how we treat this. We're going to go over to the right hand side to create a transaction and we're going to say add details. Okay, so we're going to say the payment is to Mary Motors because that's who the deposit went to. It was on the 1st of July and what we're going to do here is we're going to record our asset. So the asset is £10,000, so we're going to cheat a little bit here. We're going to say 10,000. We're going to choose the motor vehicle's capital, the motor vehicle's asset code, 760. But clearly that's not going to balance because we only paid 4,000. So what else are we going to do? I'm going to change the narrative so it says van on higher purchase. Now this time I'm going to put in a negative amount because I want to record the higher purchase loan. So I'm going to put minus 6,000 and I'm going to pick up my higher purchase. If you don't have a higher purchase loan or a loan account, you need to set it up in zero. So we're recording a payment of 4,000 pounds, but you said that's made up of a purchase of 10,000, less the borrowing, less the loan amount of 6,000 pounds. We're going to save that transaction. We're going to say, okay. And now what we have are the payments of the higher purchase loan. The higher purchase loan is over two years, so we've already worked out that the capital each month is £250 and the interest element is 25 So for each payment of £275, that's not just clear in the loan, so we want to split it. So if we go to the right hand side and we choose the create option, we're going to say this payment is made to my lender. And we're actually going to need more than one line, so we're going to choose the add details. And we're going to say, well, I can just say this is a capital amount. We know that it's £250. We need to choose the higher purchase loan. And then we need to add a further line. This time we're going to deal with the interest amount, which we know is 25 And we're going to pick up an HP interest code. You might have a code that only says interest, you might want to change it to HP interest. I've changed mine from interest to HP interest. So there is my transaction dealt with. It's on the 1st of August, so it was a month after the purchase. The capital amount is 250 and the interest is 25. I can save that transaction. But we're not finished there because we could actually be a bit smarter. And this is what I suggest that you do instead. When you get to the payment, you go to options and you say, let's create a bank rule. I can get rid of that line because it's blank. I can say, when you make a payment to my lender, now if this was your bank, you might make lots of payments to your bank. So we could add another condition and we could say, we know the amount is 275 pounds. So if there's a payment, to my lender and it's £275. If there's other blurb on here, it might be better to change this to say contains. The contact will be my lender. So then we need to tell Zero what to do with this amount and we want it split. So we're going to go to number three and we're going to say that we want the HP capital, choose the loan account, we say that that amount is going to be 250 and then we're going to say that the balance which is HP interest 100% of that is going to go to the interest code the reference will be from the reference that's fine target which bank account is going to be the business bank account and give the rule a name so I'm going to call it my lender van HP payments Give it a name that you know exactly what it is and I'm going to save. Now, if I've done that correctly, it's now going to be picked up. I'm not just going to go straight to OK. I'm going to have a look at view details, make sure that it's doing what I want it to do. 
So I'm saying the payment on the 1st of September, I want the capital, £250 to go to the loan account, and I want £25 to go to the interest. I'm fine with that. Save and OK. So now I know for all my future payments, I've set up a bank rule, provided it's a payment to my lender, and provided that it's £275 in a month, Zero is going to suggest the rule. I know that I can simply choose OK. So that's the easy way to deal with an HP payment in Zero.